Welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to be showing you how to create a Canva slideshow. If you haven't gotten to test out Canva, I will leave my link down below. They come with the ability to use them for free, or you can simply use that for easier login access. So once you're at the homepage, what we want to do is go here and just type in slideshow. We're going to have photo slideshow at the top one there. So let's go with that. Let's click on that. And in this section, what you need to do is go through and pick a template that you want to use. Now, keep in mind, just because there's going to be some templates that have different themes doesn't mean that you can't use them. Overall, whenever I'm looking for a template, it's more of how do I like the setup? You know, is it going to be easy to change around? And for me, I've already gone through and looked through them. I kind of like the black modern minimalist. Also, what you want to do is make sure that there's going to be a certain amount of slides going through. Some of these actually won't where it'll just be like, say, like one, just like that. You're not really getting the slideshow vibe. So anything that has, say, more than a few, so that has 10, that's good. Uh, this one, some of these other ones, just because they're paused, you can't see it like that has 10, but make sure they do at least have a few pages that you can utilize. So once you find one that you want to utilize and another tip in case you want to go with filters, you can go through and really change them around based upon categories. If it's business education, it has a specific theme. And once you pick your specific filters, just click apply. That'll probably help you find one if you're looking to do that. Let's go with black modern minimalist. All right, so once we clicked on the button to customize the actual slideshow, we're going to be in the editor here. So what I like doing, notice how we talked about before, if there's going to be a specific number of slides, I like doing apply all for this is going to be 15 pages. And the reason for that is because a lot of the heavy lifting is already done for you. I like the fact that it's very minimalistic. So all I need to do is simply change in my pictures and change around the text, which is going to make your life so much easier. So let's do apply all 15 pages. And just like that, we have plenty of them. So that's going to be the front. You know, this is going to be two. And when I say front, I mean like the title. So I'll come back to that if we need to. But how we can do this, let's go to our uploads. And what I did, I just got a few like travel ones. So here's a beautiful one from New Zealand. I didn't take this picture, but I went to this actual location like the Hobbiton. We can literally just drag it right in there. So we could say something like New Zealand. I'm not going to go crazy with this, you know. It was fantastic. Just like the movie. I could barely fit in there because I'm so tall. Like, I mean, it is made for like, you know, little hobbits. Of course, I can barely fit in there. Uh, nevertheless, this does have like the travel vibes to it. So say with the next one, what we can do, this is going to be a longer photo. Let's see if I have longer photos down here. Mm, nothing really of that's an AI one. But yeah, we'll just stick with one of these anyway. So here's another New Zealand one, Queenstown. OK, and what we can also do if we click on this, we can do crop. You'll notice how it's not like really all that centered. You know, we could do something like that just because it's a longer photo or we can go like that. I have so many photos of that in Queenstown, New Zealand. It's so beautiful. Let's click on done there. Once again, we'll do like New Zealand. And if that wants to make it look better, we can do that. OK, I'm just going to do a couple more. I think you get the idea, right? That's a double one. This one looks good. Let's go with Australia now. I went there as well. It was uh, Australia, then New Zealand. One week in Australia, two weeks in New Zealand. You know, once again, us. <laughs> OK, edit that around and we'll do like one more with the bigger picture. Any bigger ones. And of course, we can always delete some of these if we don't want to use them. They all have different types of, you know, elongator pictures, vertical pictures. Most of mine tend to be more of like regular size. Let's see if there are, I could probably go with that one. Let's go here. Let's just say we want to do that. I don't know why that is. That's just kind of like a random one. But once again, if we want to make it look a little bit better, crop it and do done. Okay. And this would be like, beautiful swamp, whatever it is. So this overall is like, uh, you know, for travel, like I said, you can do your slideshow for just about anything. I think this one, which one's going to pop the best with white text? Maybe this. There we go. So like my travels. And then we can probably center that a little bit better. There we go. And a short description if needed, say like, New Zealand and where's the end? Aus, Aus for Australia. Okay, something like that. So in a nutshell, that's going to be a very quick tutorial about how you can get set up with your Canvas slideshow. Like I said, the easier it's going to be, it's when you pick a template that you kind of vibe with where you're like, okay, I don't mind that it's minimalistic because one, I can obviously put pictures in there, change around the text. And obviously, if you don't want to use some of these, what you can do is just like delete page. Say you don't like this one, 
just delete it. It's not there. It's done. It's gone. All right. So that should give you a good idea. And thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. That should give you a good idea about how you can create a Canvas slideshow. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.